Yo, howdy partners, good to see you all here for the full game, the full release of Deadwater Saloon. If you're watching this live, the game should release on Steam in about 9 hours or so. So in the next 24 hours it should be released for everybody. Just check the Steam store page on this one. But before we took a look at the demo, which was only like, uh, I think about 2 weeks in game time. And so now with the game fully releasing, uh, as of tomorrow on the 13th, we to take our first look at the full game a few changes have been made and the full story is now available as well as more options for the game to mu uh, go much later into the game so we'll be able to play much longer and get more uh, enjoyment out of the full version of the game Brother, yeah. yeah out in about nine hours it says on steam nine or ten depends on like you know steams sometimes steam will say like oh this is going to be out in two hours and then Two hours pass and it's like out in another hour or whatever releases soon that means one more hour but regardless i know you guys want to play dead water saloon if you love yourself some red dead redemption and or any of the other uh, tycoon games that we played on the channel too like for example um uh what is it traveler's rest and uh a crossroads inn and those types of games then definitely a game for you also a kind of city builder in a way as well where we get to buy our own businesses and help to grow the city by kind of doing it as you would in uh, Railroad Tycoon. <clears throat> well, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. One's in the chat for the number one community out there. Thank you very much for subscribing, and welcome to all you awesome new members. And you know what? In fact, because you guys are so awesome, and since there's so many of you here right now, I'm going to do a giveaway live right now on our Discord. So uh, for those of you who are watching live, jump on the Discord. Link's in the description. I'm sure you're all on there. You all hang out on the Discord all the time. Let's do a live giveaway on the Discord, and if I get more keys for uh, Deadwater Saloon, we'll do some giveaways for more of this as well. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and drop a key then for all of you brothers, yeah. And then we'll start and make our character. I see more people tuning in too, so welcome everybody. Wow, lots of people jumping in. Good to see you all. Welcome brothers, yeah. Well, I hope this music pops off. Come on, let's go. Let's see. All right, there you go. Perfect. Something for everybody in the general chat on the Discord. All right. <clears throat> Let's jump in and... Uh, oh, apparently we'll be able to... Oh, I wonder if this is the type of game where you can continue on from like a demo or a prequel. Some of the games on Steam lately have allowed you to play demos and then if you really like the game, you could just like buy the game and then... It lets you continue on, like from the where the demo cut off. But I think we'll I think we'll start fresh. Um, <clears throat> now we we did a we kind of did two playthroughs of this game where we did one as like a um, somebody who was very charismatic, like a leader, and then we did somebody who was like kind of more of a gambler, like a swindler. And the swindler one didn't really work as well as I was hoping. I it seem it's for me at least. And of course, there's a little uh, luck of uh, the draw here, for uh, lack of a better term, but. Yeah, some things just come down to RNG as or for the defense of the town. Like for example, uh, events that happen in the town, you could have good or bad things happen. So it's all it all comes down to luck, I suppose. Just like how it is in Frostpunk, you know, somebody moving into town or trouble being had, that kind of thing. So All right, let's jump in. I'll check the settings real quick to make sure we're good. 
think that's fine. The cr oh, I thought it said the crispy. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. Takes a while for that music to get going, but there it is. Nice. All right, let's do our name. Wait, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh yeah, Raptor Dino. Okay, regular save. I think we're gonna start fresh though. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, I was hoping it would let me deselect those and delete, but that's okay. Brother, yeah. But this will confirm if you can play through smoothly, so that'll be cool. Oh yeah. You can definitely pick up where you left off. Cool. All right, back to the menu. Oh, I see one's an auto save. That that one I probably won't be able to delete. Okay, let's delete that one and we'll start fresh. Let's go. We'll keep the same name though. Let's play as this guy. Uh, let's see. Gonna give myself less health so we can get more attribute points. Uh, what do we call this one? Wait, no. No. Whiskey River. The Bear Den. Let's see. Leadership and drama really worked for us last time, so let's go with that. That was, like, really good for us. Uh, let's see. And we'll play it kind of in a more normal mode. Last time we played on, like, super easy because, like, it was just a demo and I wanted to see how far we could get. So we're going to be Raptor Dino, Captivating, descended from a family of uh, caravanners and theater troops. Your rich uncle has passed away and left you a title in his will, wishing it upon you to keep up the family tradition of entrepreneurship and grow a saloon of entertainment. Okay. Well, then let's definitely do more into leadership. We're going to only go up to 50 and drama. Let's see. Maybe some muscle. Let's see, abstraction. Muscle was a good important one too. Maybe finances? Seems like it's better to max these out than to like round out the lower ones. What's up, Bluebell? Alright, so we can max out uh, drama, leadership, and finances. That seems good. Ooh, cooking as well. Alright, economy normal, suspicion normal, townspeople are pleasant. Seems like a good run for a first start. Show player avatar. Oh yeah, we can actually be in the bar too. Let's let's do that. We'll be in the bar as well. Ooh, pre-made saloon. Oh, you can actually go with a prefab one. Ace is higher, the silver dollar. Nice. So if you don't want to build, you can just like do the, the playing part. Okay. Alright, I think that's fine. Let's go with that. All right, now we begin our first full playthrough. A new beginning. You're dropped off by a wagon in front of an old, large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the musty smell and wonder, who's more insane? The man who put you 
uh, who put up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere or the one who will manage it. There are a few good things going for this place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building, and there are rumors that a railroad will be coming by soon as well. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be the spot of a booming town one day, but a bustling main street, train station bringing in supplies and travelers, and maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see it happen, brother. Amen. Okay. All right, we're going to jump through most of the tutorials since we played this before, but there could be new stuff. So if I've seen it before, we'll just kind of skip it. That's our action points. And that's our... Uh... Oh, that's our capacity of the saloon. Items on the right side. Saloon ratings on the left. Build panel. Okay, now we're allowed to build something. Uh, let's wait till daytime so we can actually see what we're doing. I think we need to build a bar first, though. Let's build a... What one gives us the most reputation? That's something we learned last time. Refinement. The walnut bar gives us the most. Alright, we're going to go with wal uh, walnut. Put the bar over here. Oh, we gotta build a back room too. Actually, wait, let's wait till daytime, then we're gonna build a back room. And we'll be able to see what we're doing. Cool. So we'll build like an, uh, we should probably build like a storeroom, office, and a kitchen. Let's hack out a section for... Hmm. I should make that... Let's make that odd. Put a door right in the middle. Perfect. All right, let's put down a walnut bar. Oh, we don't have as much money as we once did. Oh, we start with a lot less cash. Well, actually, starting... Starting with this will be fine. Oh, now I can place it. This will be fine, because it's kind of the bar after all. We can put the bar like this? And now I can't place it? Why? I cannot build here. I could a second ago. like that. That'll be our storeroom. We need a kitchen and an office, too. Although the office can kind of be part of the same room. 
think we only need one block of passage on either side. We also need to like put a safe and stuff in the office too so people don't steal. Oh yeah, a ba I think we can get an outhouse in this game and put it outside and then it's just like it automatically works. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. Then we can put like some Oh, we can put the back bar here and a few other storage things. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Okay, uh, we need a desk, which lowers wages. You like the layout? Eh, it's okay. We're playing based on a few things that we learned last time in the demo and prologue, so... Ooh, that's a cool sound effect. There's the desk. 30% less staff wages, like, wow. That's like a must-have item. Although it's kind of weird, when I click an item... We'll put a desk there and then ev eventually maybe more storage or something in there. Nope, this isn't a YouTube premiere. This is a live stream. So this is not pre-recorded. I'm here and I'm live. Alright, so we have $706 left. We still have to recruit people to our town. Well, let's put down some chairs. I think we'll start with maybe like... Uh, where's the tables? Yeah. Maybe we'll start with like three... Gonna be awfully cramped in here, but. We still gotta buy a lot of other things. Plus, you know, we gotta work our way up to buy other things, too. It's not like you can buy everything at the start. You can buy a lot of stuff, though. Uh, let's see. Where's that shelf? Back room, yeah. And then what was the other thing? Kitchen shelf? Maybe we'll put the kitchen in here. And then we can put some more storage in there too. And it's weird how I have to like reopen that. That must be like a glitch of some sort. Can you expand the building? I don't I don't think so. Maybe there's an option to do that later. There might be. I hope so. I know we can build a second floor. I was told by the developer we can do that. I'm not sure how people are going to get up there, though. There might be a stairwell on the outside of the building that eventually we can get. Maybe build a second story? Because I don't see stairs as something we can build. So now we got a stove. Yo, Brian, thanks for the two. You place the stuff, then build the walls? That's not a bad idea either. I think in this case, I'm, I'm good to go with my buildings. I didn't think that we needed much more other than like a storeroom and like a kitchen and an office. And I think you can like, if you want to, you could probably put like the kitchen and the storeroom kind of together because it kind of looks you know the kitchen will have a lot of ingredients too inside of it oh yeah casino yeah we could do a casino too we'll get oh we found out gambling makes a hell of a lot of money we found out gam open it up a gambling bro you can make so much money from that it's gambling uh, let's see. Let's put down some nice rugs and stuff.
This makes me think of New Mexico, this little rug there. Don't forget the safe. Yeah, we could do a safe too, huh? Boy, everything's gonna cost us money. Also, one hilarious thing that happened the last time we played is that we we put like a chair at the desk, and then customers would walk in and sit at the uh, sit at the desk. I, I don't. It'd be nice if there was a way on the doors to make it staff only, so that way customers didn't walk into like the kitchen or the. The office. I mean, the office is the only place that I put a chair anyway for the desk. Pumpkin spice lattes, one dollar, chat. One dollar for pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, we also found out that the chandeliers, it seems like the best lighting in the game is the... Antlers chandelier. Or not the antlers, but just chandeliers in general. Are way better with lighting. Which is good, because then you can actually see what your people are doing. How much are these? Oh, they also give you good rep, too. Yeah, nice. We'll put something different over the bar. Let's do a nice brass one. Fancy. We could put a fireplace in here, too. Uh, yeah, we could put storage behind the bar. It's called a um, back bar? Yeah, back bar. But we can't get a walnut back bar. Only a wood or... Wow. Building this out of, uh, that seems like a scam. Building the mahogany back bar gives you plus 40 saloon drinking rating? Holy crap. Wow. Now that's a bar. Maurice, thanks for the two. You'll have two pumpkin spice lattes? You got it. And you can, you can pat my hair, too, because I know you love it. You love it! Thank you for the support, dude. Looks fancy, doesn't it? I know. Let's do a little window here. We'll do a couple windows on either side. I wonder if this is the type of game where you can move a window? You can't move a window? Are there robbers? Yeah. There'll be people who come to town, bandits and all sorts of stuff. So essentially the goal of this game is right now some people have started to move into the town already, but eventually this town will grow, and there'll pe be people here like bakers and blacksmiths and um, uh, trappers and general store owners and stuff, and we can actually eventually buy their businesses or like shady things will happen in the town. So uh, there'll be it'll be a little bit like kind of how Frostpunk works, where you can make different choices and stuff, and there'll be different outcomes that way. You know what I mean? Like it plays a little bit like an RPG that way gonna be kind of cool I'm gonna not do gambling yet oh well you know what this place is called the bear's den so we do need to buy a bear's head and put it up on the wall somewhere also the developer I, I gave the feedback of where I wanted more free placement of putting stuff on the walls and that feedback they, they listened to me the developer now let you put anything anywhere on the walls basically it used to be like much more restrictive where you could almost put it like every other like you could only put it like every other grid square and it had to be locked in now it's free free placement so thank you developers yeah yeah brother oh that looks sweet that is cool although it's a little blocked by the chandelier but whatever yeah we can put in a piano well we can't put in a piano we can only put in a piano yeah only put in a piano and we can hire somebody to play full time. I think we'll, we'll do that stuff a little bit later because I want to save some of my money just in case. Oh, no more circular rug anymore, bro. Where's my? Where's that circular rug? Maybe more stuff will unlock too. Like maybe the more we play, we can get different recipes and people will sell us new stuff. Put 
put a rug back here. I guess it'll look nice. We're starting a new game. It's the full game now, so. You put beds by, side by side. I know you, you can also do uh, things that were historically accurate, too, like uh, brothels. and We didn't make a lot of money the last time. We, well, we kind of did. It took a while to, to make, though. The money off. Having the ladies. Gambling was like immediate and multi-million dollars. Oh, am I going to have to tell myself to move? How do I get me to move? You're, hey, myself, I'm blocking the uh, tables and chairs. If I could move, please. I don't know how to get me to move. Well, anyway, we'll start with this. we got shelves. we got a... Desk. I think we could start with this. We'll keep decorating and stuff as we go on. All right. We got to hire some staff members. So we need a barkeep. Oh, we got somebody in the town already as a cook. Hire that guy. Yes. And someone from out of town who will get to move in as a barkeep. Mercury Thompson. Damn. That is a damn good name. Let's invite you. And we also need to... I guess the trapper's not here yet, so we won't, won't be really able to do that just yet. Also, research. Recipes. Yeah, a server will help. We don't need them yet, but we can get them eventually. Researching none. Okay, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit. I think we have to have that in the inventory first to research. Yeah, I, I think we have to wait for the trapper to move in. Trapper! A shanty is being constructed right alongside your saloon. It seems... A roughly clothed trapper, a true western pathfinder, has moved into town to provide their goods. Be sure to check their wares once they open for business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. Oh yeah, not to mention I found out last time too that we can research uh, different types of liquor and stuff too. Like we Eventually more stuff will unlock so we can do... We start with crude liquor and then we can work our way up to like whiskey and um, beer and... I think there's rum and other things too. Yeah, this will be out in less than uh, 10 hours or so. Oh, now we can research? Ah, oh, there we go. Now we can research. Have I ever had moonshine? No. Looks like our character just wanders around randomly. Rapper looks cool. You move him by clicking the ground? Oh, you left click anywhere. Okay, so you don't have to select your character. Thank you. So if you left click anywhere, then your guy will move. Okay. So you don't even have to select him. Cool. You make good money off opium, coffee, and cigars. Really? I know cigars made me a lot of money. I didn't see much else happen. Well, we'll probably make our money off a little gambling. All right, let's research some food. We'll do dill pickles. 
I'll be in my office. Where it's awfully dark in here. Interesting. And we'll put it over here. Increases our refinement, too. Wow. Eramo, thank you very much for the 20. Brother, yeah. I don't know why, but I want to watch A Million Ways to Die in the West now, lol. Lol. Now let's purchase boo booze and food now that the trapper's ready. And we've got some recipes cooking. Nobody's really coming to town yet, so... The town will grow. How's it going? It's good. I'm good. Always good. Wow, I can't put a lamp on the desk. Unplayable. I am furious. I can put a little lantern, but not a lamp. Okay. What's up, Zai? Still plays? How am I today? I am good. Thank you very much. Yep, doing good. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we can also purchase the Trapper, too, for 370 bucks. But no thank you, brother. Oh, there's green names now on mobile chat? Really? Were, were there not green names for members before? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Like a noob? Forgot to open the bar. Which is fine because we were kind of getting things stocked and people were still... I think we had to wait till the barkeep moved in. Now he's here. So, let's open the saloon. Oh wait, we are open. Our town is just really quiet. Come on, ma'am, move in. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. She's having a little sip. Nice. Tony, thanks for the five bomb in the chat. Congratulations to five of you getting those gifted memberships. Thank you very much for your support. Gift bomb emote. Show them some love. Yeah. We'll research fire water now. That does not look like uh, dill pickles. That looks like something better than that. Oh, cows. They're on the move. Baker. It's delightful to learn that a baker has arrived in the town to begin providing delicious grains and desserts. Foodstuffs are hard to come by in the western frontier country. It's certain that your clientele will appreciate this most welcome addition. When's the next shipment of ice? Long. A married couple enters, frail and destitute. Having gotten lost and survived many days in the wilderness, they're nearly starving to death. Uh-oh. Quickly cook them a meal. Treat them with your knowledge of medicine. Whoa. Oh, they're gonna die. 
Wait, don't I have a cook for this? What? Why does it come down to my skills? Can I have my chef, who literally is a chef, chef them to chef? Like, I'm Chef Boy RD. We got Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen, but they're going to rely on me? Bro, I've re I recently found out that you can't microwave with the cannon. I, I didn't know you had to put it in a bowl. I mean, why I have to move so often because the building would burn down, but finally someone told me. Thank God. Well, good luck to this. 15% is going to be an F. Whiskey River Opinion and my stress gone up. Oh, boy. You cook as much food as you can muster. They can't help on gorging it as you sit, sit in front of them. A few hours, the man is sick and can't keep anything down. He falls unconscious and the woman fights to revive him, but it's too late. He's passed on. What? For my cooking? Come on. A traveler tells you you shouldn't feed starving people large quantities of food. Oh, that's true. Wait, then that doesn't come down to cooking. That's just common sense. Wait, what? Okay. A wise man comes up the road and tells you it takes a studious mind to know how to properly serve grub and spirits to clientele. Don't be an ignorant saphead. Research your product or you can't serve them anything. The business selling a new type of drink or food has been built in town. Remember, it's not enough just to purchase stock from them and start selling. You must also have at least one recipe researched in the particular family as well. Yeah, so like, we can't just buy whiskey and start selling whiskey. We have to like research recipes with it. Like mixed drinks and better food. So we can buy ingredients, essentially. Alright, they're still making the baker. Well, so much for that leadership role. I should have went down the Chef Gordon Ramsay road. Oh well. I want to keep decorating, but... Elga Parker is baking delicious ash cakes to share about the town. They ask for help in preparation uh, in exchange for a portion of what is made. Agree to help. Well, I only have a 19% cooking skill. But it went up from 15 to 19, so every time that we attempt, we must learn something. So I guess that's a good way to get a skill up. Let's try to help. It'll be a fail, but could help us in the future. You attempt to bake alongside her, but only manage to burn half the offerings. They thank you for the efforts, but ask you to leave. If you could leave now, that'd be much obliged. She just opened her bakery and then asked the local bar owner to come over and help her. Wait the hell? How did I get outside? Oh, I must have clicked. Like, wondering, like, do, did I develop free will? Well, so far, I, I wish we would have went Master Chef. At least nobody died, that's true. All right, uh, let's see, how much do we have of this stuff? Oh yeah, we're good. I think what we want to do is keep adding decorations at least to get our refinement up. Uh, let's get our... Let's clear out the crude liquor research first. And then when we get a... I think when a general store moves in, we can start selling whiskey. The bakery allows us to buy grains, desserts, and we can sponsor a cooking fair, which will attract new people to town. But it costs us $2,775. That seems way overpriced. Do I need a bouncer in the door? Yeah, I'll need a lot of stuff. Oh, she wants to gamble. All right, let's do some gambling. I was going to do it later, but the town has spoken. We're going to open up an EA mobile game. We'll build a couple of mobile games over here. I think they could be put up against the wall. If not, we'll move it. Okay, let's hire an EA employee. Let's hire one EA CEO. Ooh, lucky us, there's one in town.
And what else can we have? Now we'll start with this one and see how it goes. We're not getting too many customers yet. We're not legendary enough yet. We gotta build that legend. Wonder, can we put lights outside the saloon? Oh, we could put lights on the outside. Won't let me build there. That's weird. I'll try again later. Oh, we should probably put a uh, light over the... I'll put a fancy light over here. There we go. Now we can actually see what numbers we're dealing with. Yeah, I'm also live on the uh, Steam store page for this game, too, so if you can't get enough of me, just open up a second window and go to the Steam store page for this one. You can watch simultaneously. True. How long on that research? Is there, like, an on-screen display of how long the research will take? I guess not. Yeah, I can't build there. There's got to be like a little bug or something that'll prevent me from building there. Can they fight or shoot each other? Yep, there'll be there'll be plenty of that. If you're a big fan of like Deadwood or um, uh, it really any let, let's be honest, any western, Red Dead. Whether it be a game, a TV show, or a movie. This might be one for you, partner. Dolly Parker is sh sure I'm one of the gamblers is cheating, and the top uh, to top of that, they're betting on an entire buckskin pouch full of gold. If they win, uh, they could clean out other players and even the entire saloon. Oh God, sneakiness and gambling. Ah, why did I have to go for leadership? I should have went for gambling and food, the two best things ever. Watch and determine if they're cheating. Quietly investigate the bag of gold dust to inspect its value. Well, either of these are going to fail. What? It succeeded? Wow. You hang back while Dully Parker continues dealing. As you watch, you catch a sight of a bag suspiciously fat fastened to the underside of the table wherein the gambler is drawing cards. You step forward and tell the thimble... or what? That they don't... If they don't get out pronto, they're bound to be tarred and feathered, shot or hung. Dolly Parker is grateful. I knew it. Thank you for validating that. Wow. Sleight of hand. Get out of town, pal. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll go back to uh, Farthest Frontier when the... Um, there needs to be some big improvements to frame rates and stuff, and some more content, but I played that game for a month and a half, so I'm taking a, a little extendo break. Hey, more people coming in. Hey, we got a gambler. Let's see how much we're making. How do we check that again? Yeah, so of all of our sales so far, we've made like $3 off the rings. 
$73 off of gambling. And our lifetime is like, yeah, look at that. 95 cents off of food, $73 off gambling. Like, holy crap. I mean, off of EA games. People love coming in and playing our mobile games. They just love them. Mobile games are awesome. And they just, they just love rolling that dice. I'm sorry, surprise mechanics. Surprise mechanics. Oh, they love being surprised by all the money that we earn. By them mobile games. A new recipe can be researched. Awesome. Well, we can get new food re uh, Let's do booze again. Yeah, let's finish off that. Go for the panther, and then we'll uh, start going back towards food. I wish the... I don't know what happened to the round rug. Gotta be a way to unlock it or get more stuff that way. You know what we should do? We didn't even paint the walls or anything. We're going to do that as well. You catch eyes with Helga, and they lift their hand to wave. Nod at them. Leadership plus 50. At the sunrise in your eyes, they smile back and warmly uh, warmly tip their hat. Aw. Ooh. Wait, is Helga the, the trapper? No, Gregor is the trapper. Helga's the one who owns the bakery. Okay. Yeah, we, we can buy guns. I think we can only buy guns from the um, the general store or the gunsmith. I think the general store has like a Derringer and maybe like a revolver, I think. Wow, look at all the money we're making now, boys. Hell yeah. Let's see, can we hire more staff? Let's hire a... Uh, let's see... Any servers? No. Oh, but we can hire... Uh, Vill Villanueva? Bob Ross. Let's hire Bob Ross. For our piano. Put him over here. Where should we put him? We'll put Bob over here. All right. All right, he'll probably be in a couple days. It'll be interesting to see what happens when the train comes through town. I think it'll probably, like, build back here or something. It'll be cool to see an actual train coming through. Chat, at 4,000 members, let's also play through Fruit Slots. We're going to make the 4,000 member milestone big. I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption 2. I will uh, play Fruit Slots. I will play Fall Guys with you guys. We'll do some massive giveaways. Got to get to 4,000, though. So every member bomb counts. Every member counts. Everybody who clicks or taps join. Got to do some big perks, big incentives. You guys reference Fruit Slots all the time. I broke that game. Actually, the game wasn't even called Fruit Slots. It was called, like, Internet Cafe Simulator, but, uh, it was fun. Yeah, piano at an angle in the corner would look good, yeah. I just, uh, wanted to square it up so it maximized space. A rancid heat wave is causing a grand disturbance to the local townspeople's sleep causing many to carry out their days in a trance-like state. 
uh, suggest placing dried mud between the wood planks of their homes to cool the interior, make drinks to keep them hydrated at night, pray for the end of the damned heat wave. Uh, let's try mixology? You mix tonics, but all they do is make them drunk and the mouth parched. They're worse than before. Sorry, townsfolk. Oh, so things that lower profit are purchases, pets, and marriage. some more lighting. We need a little light for Bob Ross over there. Oh god, there's the music. Um, can you play something to attract more modern audiences? No, go, go back to the... Go back to the old stuff. Fisher Parker is approaching up the road. Uh, make, it a, make it appear as if you didn't see them. Drama. Nod back as they walk by. Why would I make it? No, go, go with the top one. This is the trapper. We gotta be nice to him. He's cool. Oh. Yeah, whatever. He probably didn't see us. He was busy trapping. Besides, now I can buy every business in town. I'm rich. Almost a thousand bucks. Wow. We're still researching stuff, aren't we? Oh, yep. Are right, the last of the crude alcohols being researched? We need more lights in the kitchen. Build a chandelier. There we go. Well, that chandelier is still pretty dim. Up, up. There we go. And we'll go with one. Place is going to be packed. Uh, Lunas, what's up, dude? Welcome to the Big O stream. Big O stream. Dude, gambling is like, wow. Uh, we could try a gambling table. Can I hire another? Hope yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Brother Gale. Oh, we can hire one more. Oh, we can hire a bouncer. Let's hire Berth. Well, not really worth it to hire somebody until you can actually get a gun. Oh, wait, what? Skill rating for this character, skill level effects, saloon rating of staff, as well as earnings from activities such as the coupier. Oh, really? Hiring them will get us a higher amount of money from the... Uh... Whoa, skill rating for this person's 100 out of 100 is a barkeep? Bernice, what's up? Who's our current guy? 389? Uh, I guess he'll learn over time. I th I think their number will increase over time. Yeah, it's okay. Let's just hire a bouncer. And how's our cook? 62, 65, 48. Eh, they'll get better over time. Yes, there are opium dens in the game, yes. But it's more like it's more like a trader because then you can buy it and sell it yourself. So it's kind of more beneficial for you to do that. All right, let's redecorate the place. Uh, let's do some painting. Let's do. A nice blue color for the office. No, that. Oh, God, no. Let's do red. Let's do a nice red color for the office and do a nice flooring. You notice that Fisher Parker stops at the entrance and considers entering. Attempt to welcome them with humor. Wow, this guy does not like us. Negative five on our opinion again. Jeez. You noticeably tense from all the stress. It might be a good time to take a load off that or turn in one of your turn to one of your vices. Jeez. Everybody's so mean to me in this town. Chat, why is everybody so mean to me in this town? Oh, we can only have wood floor. Okay. They're jealous. They're all bears in disguise. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's nice. Well, I mean, the local trapper, like, I'm his only customer. I mean, basically. And it's just like, he walks down the street and I nod at him, he's mad. He's thinking about coming into the bar. He's mad. Will, a, will me build, building a... Wait, do I get a house, by the way? There's houses in the game, but I wish I could build my own house. If I build a bell... Uh, uh, where's that? Furniture? If I build a bed, will that lower my stress? Negatives to stress daily. Okay. I guess I'll sleep in my office then. I don't have a house, so I may as well stay here. How come I can't sleep in here? I can't sleep in my office, but I can sleep here in the floor. Uh, let me go over here.
There. Okay, that's better. Alright, so the bed will lower two stress daily. That's good. Didn't know that. Hi, Jessica B. How you doing? Wow, we've made over a thousand dollars already. Jeez. Brother, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to sleep where it's safe, in the room with the safe. Butcher! All right, we can get some meat. Meat. You're more carv carnivorous customers are sure to welcome the butcher. Having came west seeking opportunity and profit feeding hungry pioneers, they're sure to provide light and heavy meals. It makes your hung you hungry even thinking about it, unless you're not one for meat, that is. Meat. Must consume meat. Tombstone, yeah. Yeah, all right, time for new recipes. Uh, light meals. Okay, so now we can buy from the butcher. Let's start with some uh, roasted chicken. A little more quality. What's up, Robert? Good to see you. Somebody told him about stairs, please. Oh, you can tell me. I didn't see stairs in the game. Is it... Um an external item? I assume that it went outside the building and would let you get to the top floor that way. Does it have to be researched or what? Same menu as the doors? Okay. Oh yeah, okay, there they are. All right. So we could probably put it somewhere around here. We'll just move the uh, gambling tables around a little bit. Well, we could probably put the gambling upstairs then, which means we could have more f space down here. But we'll uh, we'll make a bit more money. We'll we'll fill up the basement first, and then we'll build upstairs. Because then we can also do like a hotel, a motel, and a Holiday Inn. And then we can have a Holiday Inn Express, and we can have a pool. Cool. Oh wow, we researched the chicken really fast. I guess the, the first tier of any research tree is researched very fast then. Let's go with cold cuts. Good old sandwich. Is the stage still in the game? Uh, I don't know. I see a dartboard, roulette wheel, gambling table, piano, piano. Maybe there's some things we can research later. I'm, I'm gonna be in my office. Well, maybe I can hang some nice photos. Let's hang some nice framed paintings. I 
can't hang it on the wall. Maybe I can put it here? Sometimes it won't let me put stuff on the wall. Oh, there it goes. It's like clicking like crazy. Now I can finally put there. Yeah, if I hold shift, sometimes it won't let me put on the wall, but if I place freely, sometimes... Seems like there's something blocking the precise placement on the grid. But then if I build a little next to it, then it lets me build. Kind of weird. But, you know. All good. The green is nice? Why, thank you, viewer. Wow, I got a compliment. That's nice. Wow. Now I feel all good about my bar. Wow. Chad emote. New recipe. Uh, let's go for... Let's start serving some dessert. We'll sell ash cakes and buy some uh, grains from the... from the baker. Or dessert. I'll buy both. And let's buy light and heavy meat. Oh, and we can buy a dog too. To buy a dog. Oh, not enough action points. We gotta wait till tomorrow. Hey, we can study cooking. Ooh. I will right, we'll buy that tomorrow. The dog helps to lower your stress because then you got someone to give all the pets to and feed some scraps every once in a while. What's up, Soupy? Hmm. Brother, yeah. Brother, yeah. Oh. The way the breeze wafts across the desert gives your town a peaceful rep repose. It fills you with a deep inner solitude. Oh, it's probably negative stress. Negative five stress, yeah. Stress now back down to 13. Okay, so we got heavy meat researched, light meat researched, and a dessert researched. Oh, but we haven't researched grain. Uh, of course, my favorite grain, eggs. Let's research that. <laughs> it's always fun when it comes time to plant eggs. I think you're... I think when... What is it? Like, I think Easter is when you plant eggs, and then you can harvest them again sometime around Thanksgiving and Christmas when Grandma makes deviled eggs. Grandmas go out to the fields and harvest them. What a time to be alive. Of course, only the Easter Bunny can plant eggs. That's the rules. I don't make the rules. Bro, you need, to, need a cards dealer? Yeah, I couldn't find somebody else yet. I did uh, go to staff a little bit ago and didn't have any luck finding anybody else. I need to find a coupier, but... There's nobody else that works that job just yet. We'll keep taking a look every once in a while. Is it comfy to sit in a gaming chair for so long? 
Well, interestingly enough, these gaming chairs are, they give you a lot of support and they last for a long time. But if you're looking to do extended gaming, think about this. Here's some, here's some big brain emote stuff, right? Think about all the money and research that goes in to corporate offices and commercial offices to make it comfortable for their workers to sit for long periods of time. If they're sitting longer, they're working longer. And if they're working longer, that means more money. So if you go to like an office supply store or even like probably like a Staples or an Office Max, but maybe something higher than that, if you find like a local furniture store that sells you know, like those mesh-backed office chairs, those are probably a lot more comfortable and will, you know, like, give you support and feel better for the long run. However, this gaming chair is about the same. It just costs a little bit more, but the durability of this thing, you know, nothing is broken on it in the longest time. In an office chair, usually something happens, like an arm breaks off after a while or the back like gives out or something or one of the wheels go goes weird. So I've had this chair since like 2018 and it's worked pretty damn good. But if you want something comfortable, all that money that gets poured into researching better chairs to keep you sitting and keep you working. That's kind of what gaming does too. You know, it's like enjoyable to game, but you know, you got to sit there for long periods of time to get something done. So what chair am I using? This is a DX racer. Like a 2018 model. You sat in a boardroom meeting once, having a meeting about that, convincing a CEO to buy 460 Herman Millers for $320 a piece, yeah? Gregor openly expresses their appreciation for your saloon. Your one swell bonanza. Oh, finally we made friends with him. Thank you very much. Oh, finally. Me and the Trapper are no longer uh, being weird. Yeah, gaming chairs are good. Yeah, they're quality and they're they're just as good as gaming chairs, but they're a little bit of a little bit of a gimmick, you know. But hey, we all have something nice that we bought that we splurged on a little bit, you know. Luckily, I use mine all the time, but you know, if you're gonna splurge, doing it on like a a, a nice piece of clothing, like a hoodie or some new shoes or something like that, that you know you're gonna use, that could be okay. Yeah, you know, it's like when you buy a set of tools. If you if you spend a, on tools a little bit more than you were planning, but it's something you use every day, then uh, it's more of an investment. You know what I mean? All right, let's ooh, let's research Apple Crisp. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, this game's going to get a lot more interesting because once we, like, we're making a lot of money, $1,300, but eventually we can, like, start buying buildings in the town and do some more stuff, so. Same can be said about your bed. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Uh, yeah, think about it. You spend a third of your life sleeping or something like that, so you may as well make it the best damn sleep of your life, yeah. True. Okay, can we hire a staff member yet as a coupier? I wonder what makes these refresh. Is there a thing to refresh them? Surname, given name. Oh, let's sort by occupation. We can get another bouncer. Dodge Edwards. <laughs> That's going to be pretty good when he gets shot at. Hopefully he can live up to his name. How come his name's not Chevy? Whatever. We'll hire a couple bouncers. All oh, right, I was gonna buy uh, the dog too and cooking lessons. Hundred thirty-two dollars, good investment. And the doggo for five dollars. What are we gonna name the dog? Oh, we can tell the dog to move around. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, I can't name him. Oh, we can open doors. Hey, yeah, you can lay at the foot of the bed. Let's keep you somewhere warm. Oh, he likes to chill under the desk. There we go. He feels he feels cozy under the desk. 
Dodge Edwards is growing relent uh, restless and almost raring what you just got here. Literally, the guy's been here 10 minutes. He's looking to pick a fight with one of your customers. You notice it, how they walk by customers eyeing them up and down, shouldering the ones that get close enough. Whoa, bro, what are you doing? Explain how it's bad for business. Fail. Is opinion negative five. You're unable to make them see how uh, guests, harassing guests like this is costing you money, money that you need to pay them. They just roll their eyes and carry on doing things like, oh my god. I hired that guy. Oh, I should fire him the same day. Whatever. What's up, Peter? Good to see you. Well, let's see how much money we make today. It's the start of a new day, so we're at negative $29. Let's move this over here. Make, make a little bit of room for the, uh, mm, the stairs here? Yeah, because if we put stairs here, then we could just have a little corridor and then boom, the whole rest of the top floor can be for um, entertainment. <laughs> yes. The demo of this game was fun. How are you liking it? Uh, I was real. The, the demo was kind of disappointing to me because I was enjoying it so much and then it ended and I was like, damn it. But now that the full game's here, I'm sure some of the features and events that weren't featured are here and it's a little more... I, this is my favorite playthrough so far, actually. Because the first time we did really well when we played, like, all the scenarios were matching up perfectly. Our leadership was, like, perfect. It was a really... Like, we were a legendary dude the first time. Then the second time we played, we were kind of trying to go for more, like, um... We're going to be more of a brothel, like, gamble more focused on brothel and gambling and that was a good it was okay we were making some okay money to start with um but i enjoyed the first run a little bit more but it's a good run too but i think the way the game is supposed to be played is uh you know you, you play it a few times on kind of an easier settings and then you go for the hardest playthrough with all your knowledge of the game Your dog lays on its back in front of you, beck beckoning for a tummy rub. Who's a good dog? That'd be you. Action points restored. Wow, we get all of our action points back for the day. Any stress that you had is suddenly lifted. Nice, down to 11 stress. Not bad. Uh, let's see. The cooking fair price went down. It was like 2000 now it's 1800 I wonder what determines that price. What are we doing on inventory? Oh, we're gonna need some crude alcohol. Oh, I love how the inventory is like displayed all the time too. Let's buy some more crude. And maybe I should buy some more storage. We're getting a little full. Let's buy some more storage. What's up, Red? Yeah, let's do... Wait a minute, actually... There were barrels. Beer keg or barrel? Plus 50 storage. Plus 200. Oh, we gotta go for the shelves then. The cool thing is you can put these shelves pretty much anywhere and make it look like it belongs there. So like this shelf could be for books in the office. This shelf could be for like spices and things next to the kitchen. And these ones look like they could be for like, you know, booze and other things. And I think this should add, does this add storage too? I feel like the, oh, it does. Cool. 50 is kind of light though for as big as that thing is. Maybe a hundred. Let's add more shelves here, though. Now our maximum storage is 1850. Shouldn't open up in the middle, middle of a desert? Well, to be fair, Walt Disney World opened up in the middle of a swamp. And so did Vegas in the middle of a desert. 
So there's that. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh. There's a rumble in them there, hills. Oh, we need. F okay, we might be able to do this when we got 50% muscle. We might be able to do it. There, you're minding your own business when three or four young punchers. Young punchers? Ride their horses into your saloon. Uh, an overdressed. Easterner happens to be at the bar enjoying an after-dinner refreshment when he's considerably jostled by one of the horses. He says to you, you're going to look after these punchers, or am I? Uh, take care of them yourself. Muscle plus 50. Yeah. You step forward and grab the reins of one of the horses, pulling it towards the front. Uh, as soon as the others see how you'll take no S, they follow the others inside in accordance. That's right. Fall in line, boys. That's right. I like the random events in this game. I feel like they're really well paced, too. Like, they come up frequently enough to where it feels like they make a big difference and make it unique every playthrough. But, um... Like, they're not... They don't interrupt too much. Just enough. Oh, right, the butcher. I was wondering, <laughs> I was wondering what, where the pig noise was coming from. Okay, let's do a decoration. Maybe another painting? Why not a picture of the moon landing? Oh, right, it's 1861. That didn't happen until... 2004. <sighs> That's right. The, the truth is out there. New recipes. Let's see. You need a brass spittoon? Should we build one? Okay. We can build a brass spittoon. Is that decor? Or furniture? Ah. Uh. Any Winchesters in the game? Um, I think there is. Yeah, there's like, I think the best weapon in the game is like a double-barreled shotgun that you can get from the blacksmith. One's got to move to your town first, but yeah, there's some pretty good guns in the game. It, like a uh, Colt, like a Navy, Colt Navy, I think it is. Myra Jones expressed their gratitude for your establishment. We're here to take care of the townsfolk, you and I. I agree. She must be the butcher. Yep. Somebody stole from the safe. That's probably the the dog. He got into some legal trouble. He had to borrow some money. Fine. Can I put this up against the wall, maybe? And then maybe move the... Uh, Uh, oops. I think I accidentally deleted the stairs. 
What is that? Now we can make a wooden floor on the second floor, but uh, mm, I'm going to wait a little bit before we start building on the second floor. You watch videos about failed or closed theme parks? Oh, or cruise liners. Oh, yeah, from uh, Bright Sun Films. Good stuff there. I love the abandoned malls. All that stuff's so interesting to hear about, like, when all that stuff was popular, like malls from the 80s and all that stuff, and seeing people outside shopping. You had to get... You had to get up and be presentable in order to go get dressed up and be presentable. Wow. What a time to be alive. Can we hire another person yet? Piano, cook, cook, bouncer. Nope, nope, nope. We have another bouncer? I thought we could only have two. Um... Oh, you can have four. Oh. Eh, we'll start with two. We'll get a server when we can. Office should go upstairs, smiley face. Ah, uh, we could do that, but I don't know what else I'd put in that back room, though. Like, I wouldn't want to turn that into, like, a... Now nah, we'll put the gambling and all the fun stuff upstairs. New construction simulator? Great. Yeah, we live-streamed it earlier today. It was fun. Plenty of light here on the first floor. Need a burlesque stage? I don't have that much room. Maybe one day. Like any nice chairs? Ooh, a cushion chair, wow. I feel like customers are just gonna come in here. Hi, Nicole, how are you? Oh, Gregor Johnson openly expresses their appreciation of you and your business. Well, thank you, sir. All right, cool. Now we're back on normal terms. in my, my bedroom. There's a way to set staff areas. Oh, how do I do that? How do I set a staff area? I think it should be controlled by the doors, personally, because it's very easy. I love how we can buy the other businesses in the game. 
good. Well, there's not a way to lock doors, I don't think. People are telling me that there's ways to make staff areas, but... I mean, I don't think guests... Guests won't go into these areas unless you put something there. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's keep roasting... Roasting rabbit will be good. A roasted rabbit. The main road has been obstructed several miles out of town by a band of thieves robbing lone riders and wagon trains by gunpoint. By the rumors, they're not resorting to violence and seem relatively novice. I better ride out there and kick some ass. Whiskey River. Alright, so they're blocking the road. Let's go out there and figure it out. Oh, look at this. Our town can actually grow to a new level. Oh, yeah, okay, so once we hit four houses, we can have a uh, town level. By the way, in our first playthrough, too, I purchased the uh, sheriff's office. Like, they were building a sheriff in the town, and so I just bought it. And I was like, now, now I'm the sheriff. Yeah, now I'm the law. <laughs> That's how it works, by the way. All right, let's clear the road. You attempt to clear the road. Uh, challenge them to a hand of cards. If you win the hand, they leave. If they win, they stay. Attempt to frighten them by feigning a meltdown. Drama, 50%. Uh, with nothing but your firearm and metal, you ride out to deal with things the old-fashioned way. Firing your gun into the air and scatter those impeding the road head-on. I'll need a gun for that, though. Uh, bribe them to clear the road. I'm just gonna bribe them. That's super easy. Here's 50 bucks. Beat it. Success. Yeah. 50 bucks is easy. I could have gotten shot. I, I, if it failed, I didn't want to get hurt. We'll make... Look. Now that they've left the road, they're probably going to come here and gamble, and then I'll just earn the money back. Oh, good. Everybody likes the town. Ooh, a moose. Oh, wow, that's a... Wow. I feel like we need a fireplace, too. Where are we going to put a fireplace in? Ooh, an elaborate one. We'd also put that upstairs, but... Um... Could put it over here. Kind of classy. Yeah, the the bear's right here. And apparently in chat too. The bear's den. What's up, Tally? Things are good. Welcome. Uh, staff areas equals the bottom button in the lower left menu. Oh, select floors for customer or non-customer. Oh, cool. Thank you. 
Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Nice. Yeah, that little uh, cancel thing doesn't really... Yeah. You know what would be nice? Is if this symbol changed to... This right here, it, it's this button here. It'd be nice if that changed to a little sign that just said staff only. And then you'd, you'd be able to just click and drag like that. That's cool, thank you. Awesome. Well, that's awesome. I'm playable. Yeah, or just verboten, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should put a, a, a nice little dresser in my... Uh, I could put a fireplace in my own... Oh, I like how this is called modest. It's got a mantle. That's nice. I need to decorate my own room. A wardrobe? No. No. If I put that, if I put a wardrobe in there, it could malfunction. Yeah, we'll put it there. Put a little cabinet there, and then let's see. Bedside table. Uh, can you set food and drink prices? Um, perhaps. I can't remember if there's a way to do that. See. And then we're going to decorate all the rooms this way, too. So we can have, like, a... We can be more of an inn. place it there either. You just notice he's playing the same song on piano? What song? Wait. You mean this guy? I guess so. An old classic. A general officer arrives with a long row of soldiers asking that you lead their entire army. Oh, feed. <laughs> I, I thought Raptoria was here and needed my help yet again. Raise those flags high, boys. A general shows up. Son, I need you to take command of the entirety of this armor. Uh, okay. Uh, win the war. Oh, thank God you were here, dude. Success. The war has been won. Uh, all right, let's try the cooking. It'll be a dice roll, and it'll probably be a fail, but... You attempt a Herculean effort of cooking up a feast for those hungry soldiers, but they are so put off by the bad quality that uh, they leave most of it on the table. The general officer and his soldiers file out, leaving a small tip for the trouble, though it offers little of the peace of mind for the stress it's left you with. Damn, I got 50 bucks for that? Hell yeah. Oh, look, that paid off the, uh... Oh, perfect. See, it was a push now on the, uh, clearing of the road. And only five stress? <sighs> I'll go sleep and then pet my dog. Can the army do that? They can't do that. Oh, wait, he did pay. Oh, potato soup? Oh, I want that. Uh, let's get some sourdough biscuits, though. We'll compete with Red Lobster's uh, Cheddar Bay.
Yeah, it's one hell of a piano, yeah. <laughs> uh, P N E. One hell of a P N E. A pig farm. The smell overtakes the breeze as the pig farmer arrives with their herd. Setting up a pig farm in the midst of town may seem like an inconvenience, but the pig farm will provide game meat and an efficient way to dispose of unwanted remains. AKA corpses accumulated by devious activity. Also, aren't those pigs just undeniably cute? Yeah, you can literally use the pig farm to get rid of bodies. Wow. Brother, yeah, brother, yeah. Is anybody coming in and doing gambling? There's definitely be, been people gambling, right? Wow, we made $1,800 from gambling. Nothing today so far, but it's already 4 a.m. New recipe again. Let's go with uh, ooh, homemade noodles, aka ramen. Cup noodle, yeah. Oh, yeah. No stress at all. Zero stress. Not even stressed at all. What's up, Trent? Probably 10 times better than the uh, army rations. Yeah, you're probably right. You overhear Pearl criticizing and berating you in your saloon. All beer and Skittles. Who doesn't like Skittles? Wait. Hold on. The opinion of the town drop. Oh, wait. That comment, negative 10 on the town opinion, negative 5 on her, and plus 12 to my stress for a comment like that? Come on. How dare you, madam? I will buy your I will buy your business. go chase a pig and we could own a little piglet too oh ma'am I could put you out of business you realize this I could I could destroy you Also, the first time we played this, our character, like, there was a dude who came to town and was like, I'm taking over this town. And we were like, nope. And we fought them for a while through, like, a whole long, like, text quest. And then eventually they, like, shot us. We got, like, the bad ending and they shot us. But the whole town was like, it wasn't actually the bad ending. It was like, oh, no, we got shot at this bad ending. And then it's like, no, the town came out and, like, helped us get back on our feet and thought highly of us for sticking up for the town. That was a cool first run. Let's drop the walls. Is there a way to do that?
All right, new recipe. Let's go for baked corn. And let's see if we can hire some new staff members. Cook, cook, barkeep. No, no, no. Oh, a server, finally. Ooh, 100% rating. Can we add a basement or a cellar? I don't think so. It would be kind of cool, though, if we could put, like, uh, a little room or, like, a cellar out back and then store some stuff down there. Oh, that'd be really nice. Yeah, then we could have a storeroom for, like, uh, maybe, like, a wine cellar or something. That'd be kind of cool. I think we can eventually sell wine. Oh, there's the piglet. Oh. We'll call him roast beef. Here, you can help in the kitchen. Oh, we could name him Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that'll that'll do. You pass by Floss Jones, and they walk on, pretending not to notice you. Uh oh. Attempt to grab their attention with your presence. Success! With a commanding voice, you say aloud, You have a fine disposition. At that, they smile and turn back to uh, talk with you. Why, you're fine company, they say. Jones, opinion plus five. Cool. Yeah, we can buy other businesses, yep. We're going to have to earn some more money. Let's see. Quail or wild goose? We'll do a uh, potato soup. Show me potato salad. What's up, Mike? How you doing? You hear your name called and turn to Gregor, greeting you with a favor. Barkeep for the manor born. Ah, there we go. Good. more houses. Oh, and here comes the cows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if there will actually be bank robberies in the town. I mean, that's definitely something you'd see in the Old West, like an old bank. I wonder if we can get, like, city service built. Like, a sheriff can move in, so maybe we can get, like, a church and a bank and maybe, like, a schoolhouse and uh, maybe, like, a uh, Oh, we can get a train station. Oh, 
Yeah, we'll have some more uh, game giveaway. Yeah, pretty much every day I'm dropping games on the Discord. We just did one at the uh, start of this stream. Maybe we'll do this start at... Well, tomorrow morning we'll do a start uh, giveaway. Stream start giveaway. General store. Oh, it was only a matter of time before the town gained a general store. Good, now we can buy guns. And at last it's arrived. Sure to... Uh, provide wares such as coffee, cigars, whiskey, and firearms. No matter how you look at it, the general store is an economic cornerstone for a growing town, along with your saloon, of course. Where is the general store? It's going to be built. Oh, Derringer. Eh. Let's purchase whiskey, coffee, and cigars. Derringers are kind of eh. I thought they used to sell Colts. It must have been the blacksmith I was thinking of. Yeah, that's right. The blacksmith makes Colts, and then there's like an actual firearms dealer that makes better weapons. All right, uh, let's research better drinks. Although I think we're already researching something. Yeah, potato soup. Okay. Do I know what the price will be for this game? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. A bar fight breaks out and Dodge Edwards is having a tough time bringing it under control. Bring it to a stop by raising your voice, 59%. Success! The sound of your voice is enough to stop the fighting, startling those monkey ward cowpunchers to scurry out of your saloon. Dodge Edwards claps to your hand. Happy beyond measure to have you there to back him up. Yeah, brother. Is Alienware a good PC? I mean, it depends on what you want to play, really. One of the good websites out there is, um... I think there's a website called, like, Will It Play or Can I Play or something. You can type in a game name like, type in, like, the best game you want to play, or, like, the a game you think is pretty powerful, and then it'll suggest a bunch of uh, parts and stuff that you can buy if you want to build your own. Or maybe possibly link to PCs that are similar to that in performance. But there's lots of knowledgeable people on the Discord, too, so feel free to, like, say, hey, I want to... Like, if you want to play SnowRunner or something, just tell people, hey, here's my budget, and I want to play SnowRunner. What do I need? People will help you build a PC. People have a lot of fun with that, too. Can I run it? Oh, is that what it's called? Okay, yeah, that, that sounds right. That's a good one. All right, we have cigars, coffee, and what was the other thing we bought? Oh, yeah, whiskey. All right, let's research some whiskey recipes. Red Eye. Look at all these. Oh, I think there's even more bef than before. I think. Shelby Lemonade, Pass Brandy, Grizzly Bear's Milk, Sean O'Farrell, Irish Whiskey. Somebody knows their whiskeys. A traveler says, I've traveled many parts of the country, my friend. The quality of your drinks are dime a dozen. Uh, mix a drink to prove them wrong. Tell them that it's, not, it's fine with you and you're just going to try to get by. That's fine. You're a spitting spit image of mediocre, aren't you? That's the channel. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, we, we've done all the research we could on uh, the tier one booze. Now we're working it up to uh, whiskey. So, I mean, on one hand, he's right. On the other hand, what are we going to do? We're working on it. I wonder if there's a way to turn down that damn piano. Alright, make a volume slider for the piano. Because I want to hear this game's music. More than, uh... Old Town Road, or whatever the hell the Bob Ross is playing on piano. Uh, let's see... Things are looking pretty full. We could move the uh, gambling stuff upstairs now.
Ugh. All right, let's make a uh, a nice upstairs now. I want to be able to see the top and the bottom floors simultaneously like that. What's up, Yeti? How you doing? I don't know if we can build railings. I didn't see an option for it. The main road has been obstructed a mile out of town by an uprising of impassioned suffrages. Women intent on equal rights. It said that they won't move until they have a reason to do so. I don't know if I would have... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I guess we'll make the whole floor. Let's make a whole second floor. All right, we got to make a gambling room. We could make a uh... what I'd like to do is make like a like a hotel room and then copy the design, you know, like cookie cutter fireplace. Oh yeah, we could put that on the second floor. Well, let's get all the stuff from the first floor up here, and we'll go finish up the first floor. Let's move this stuff upstairs. It can't be moved upstairs. We gotta like sell it. Oh, there's not a button to like move upstairs. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we can keep the uh, piano down here. Okay, let's build more tables then. So it'll all be eating and drinking on the first floor.
I think moving this piano still kind of goofs up the guy. <laughs> He's trying to get to that piano. I'll have to sit it in the corner like this, I think. Okay, so it can't be up against the wall. Oh well. All right, second floor. You know, what we could do is make a hallway and then make rooms off of that. And then a big old open room at the end for uh, the casino. Although we can only get two coupiers, so we can't make like a massive casino. So. Hmm. Here's what we'll do. We'll put a storage room up here. One side of room for sleep and the other for a casino. Well, can we actually make, like, legit bedrooms? Like, make a hotel? Like, I know we can make a brothel, but can we make, a, like, an actual hotel, too? Well, I guess we could. Because I can make it not staff room, right? No. I, I don't think we can actually make a legit, like, hotel. Can we make a balcony? I don't think so. I don't think we can build outside. Yeah. We can only make a bed for the brothel. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll make our two uh, brothel rooms here. And then the area up here could be for the casino. So let's make two rooms that are exactly the same. What is the other bed for? I, I think it's for you. You don't get a house in this game, and it says negative two distress, so it implies that your character sleeps there, I guess. Let's do this. We'll make a, uh, what is this, a four by five? Yeah. We'll make two four by fives. What? Cannot afford? Excuse me, I have over two thousand dollars. What? Uh the dollar forty six and we cannot afford it. We have two thousand one hundred and eighty eight dollars. Apparently a dollar is too much nowadays with two thousand dollars. I mean, that's no cheap that's no small price in eighteen sixty one, but when we have two thousand dollars, that's not zero. Unless it means something else. Like is there something below that's blocking it? Maybe the chandelier? Let's move the chandelier for a quick second.
It also does it there, too. Yeah, there's nothing else hanging from the ceiling other than that chandelier that was there, but we moved it. Literally unplayable, I agree. How am I supposed to thrive in this world? Can you place anything else in that spot? Let's see. Let's try a gambling table. Or wait, what's a one by one thing I can put there? Let's put a stool. Yeah, for some reason there's like, we can't put something right there. Or here either. I guess technically that's through the wall, but... Uh, there's not an option for ceilings, but there is like a floor there. Well, I guess that's technically the ceiling for the blo of floor below. Hmm. Gotta get that coupier up ASAP so we can make the money again. Go inward one space and then to the wall you built. I don't want to change my design. Like, that should be an open and fair grid space to build on. You can't help but overhear Gregor speaking highly of you. Dude, this guy's really nice. Guy, like, he was awkward. Ah, it just took him a little bit to warm up to us. That guy was, like, wasn't sure about us, and now he's warmed up. Nice guy. Oh yeah, I forgot about the blocked road with the ladies. We gotta deal with that. Um, yeah, we'll just pay him off. You attempt to clear the road. Uh, help them understand the lack of logic of their pursuits. Use the seductive talents to lure them and convince them to leave. Shoot at them or give them money. Eh, it was 50 bucks. It's a donation. Good luck, ladies. Hope it all works out. And it did. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe I had to unpause to get the movement of the light to register. Maybe. Now that it's daytime, I'm going to go back upstairs. Attempt number two. What if we save and reload? Let's try that. The game's being very Ronald Reagan right now, and I want to be Gorbachev. I want to I want Gorbachev right now, but it's telling me I can only, only Ronald Reagan right now. Can I put the door there? No, I couldn't put anything there. It, the the wall would turn red. I thought that was somebody standing on the roof. I was like, is someone trying to break into my saloon th from the roof? Like a payday to break in? What in the Ronald Reagan is going on? Wait, I built this wall. Didn't it stop me from doing that? Maybe we could build the wall shorter. Alright, whatever. Budget cuts. I can't move the doors? It wouldn't let me move the doors. Your character is interfering from downstairs. I think our character was in the bedroom. No, he's standing right there, but... I don't know. You might be right.
Uh, budget cuts. We're going budget cuts now. A snowman comes with... No, I'm just kidding. A showman comes in with a pet monkey. Asks if uh, they might put on a show for your customers. They're willing to negotiate a rate to split based on tips. Uh, say yes and negotiate a fair compensation. Success! You agree to split and shake on it. The monkey puts on a fine show, swinging off the showman's back, walls, and ceiling, juggling around a series of balls and pins. The customers are enthralled. Plus 10 of the city's opinion. Plus 10 of our fame and a hundo bucks. Yeah, brother. I'll build this as a storeroom upstairs. And we can put a nice little seating area there, a little waiting area. Oh, we gotta decorate the upstairs. Uh, let's make the storage room... That's a storage room. Let's make it... Ah, wait. This is brown, but let's try maybe gray. What about gray? No. Gray is like... Pure eternal darkness. Uh, let's see. Blue... Red with red. We'll make this little room a darker green for the hallway. You know what's weird? I can't get the game to like. The game seems to on pause if you if you hit spacebar to pause the game. It'll on pause when you're doing decoration. Maybe like that. And then the whole this whole area will be the, the upstairs casino. And I guess technically we could build an upstairs bar too, couldn't we? Or can we only have one barkeep? Oh, you can only have one barkeep, okay. Ah, uh, I could have built a bar upstairs. Well, we tried. Maybe this will separate the noise from the downstairs? What if we do this? If you, th if you think the downstairs being packed with people and music and yelling and bar fights breaking out. Install windows and delete system 32. All right, let's install some storage upstairs. Oh, this is getting good now. This is cool. Now that we've made some more money, we can spend some good old cash on some cool new decor and storage. Very important. Amen, brother. No floor here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a floor. Pretty sure that's floor. Uh, 
All right, then. Idea number four. Deleted. Okay. Hey, man, brother. Oh, see, this stool looks like a table. I'll make sure nobody sits on that and put a lantern there. Well, wait. Is it going to stop me from putting beds up here? Because it thinks there's no floor? Oh, great. Now I can't really decorate, though, because those are, like, super small quality. I mean, I guess I could extend the rooms a little bit. All right, let's do this. I can't build there either. It's so random about where I can and can't build. And then it says I can't afford it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Is it still coming out on the 13th in game? It says 14th. Well, I went to the Steam store page about. Uh, like two and a half hours ago, it said it was coming out in nine hours. So. Okay. Let's delete this wall. I feel like I want to leave a separate hallway, but this is a little narrow, but I guess there's not going to be a lot of foot traffic. It, the only feet here are going to be boots, and they're going to be knocking in those beds. So that'll be fine. I horror, they don't mind. FPS all of a sudden. Anyway. I suppose we should probably put a window in there. It won't let you move windows. It won't let you move doors. Sometimes it won't let you put things on the walls. All right, a little little buffin needs a little buffin. Um, where was the storage again? And I still can't put storage up here, right? What about this side? Oh, but I can put storage there. But I can't put storage here. Oh, I can now. Okay. There's no floor there. Are you sure? Oh, there's a workbench. What does that do? Oh, it lowers daily upkeep by 30%? Holy crap. And increases the food rating with the cutting table. Whoa, I forgot about those. Oh, we're putting those in right now. Well, let's put the cutting table for meats and whatever over here. And there's a, a workbench. I guess we'll put that upstairs. Uh, 
Uh, this thing is too wide. Okay. Apparently I can't build anywhere on the second floor. It'd be nice if we could have a double door in this game. That way Snape could kill it. Alright, the gambling room needs to be red. Got to be. Legalities. Back to floor one. Okay, so we got our piano downstairs. I, can we hire another piano guy? Or are we limited to one? Only one piano guy? Man. Okay, well, people should be able to walk up the stairs and go through this door and then walk in here. We've got all this room upstairs, but we don't... We can't build a second bar, and we can't... I guess we could build more... No, we can only have two beds, because we can only have two uh, in independent business owners. What the... It's saying there's no floor there again. You know what? Maybe it was because I... Like, when I put the floor down originally, I kind of didn't, like, click and drag the whole thing. But the top... You can only build floors, like, one at a time, though. Is there a way to delete the whole floor? Shift, left click, left click to a delete section. Oh, yeah, look at this. The floor is, like, weirdly separated. No, it's not. It shows us one whole floor. Cannot mass erase floor while occupied. Damn it. Now I can put the roulette wheel down. Oh, now I can do it. What the f- Whatever. Okay, let's put the uh, cards over here. Roulette table I'm going to put over here. I think we'll leave a little space... Between these. I mean, we got plenty of space, so uh, let's put some darts up here. Put like three dart boards. Oh, we need a billiards table. Did they have billiards back in like 1861? That was a thing, right? Or maybe it wasn't as popular yet. We could put a fireplace up here, I suppose. You think it was bumper pool back in 1861? Okay. I guess we'll put a nice little fireplace here. This will be our gentleman's club. Put some chairs down. Also wish we could get some nicer chairs, like some nice leather sofas or something. I guess these are the nicest ones we got. In fact, one of the things that happened in Dodge City was one of the brothers being shot over a pool table. Oh, really? Oh, see, that'd be another good gambling thing, then. People could gamble over a pool game. Or darts. Dart board's right by the uh, door. That's funny right there. Well, in 1861... There were a lot less uh, lawyers and attorneys. And a lot more common sense. Do people gamble on the pig run too? Now you're thinking.
But that wardrobe looks really low, low quality. Oh no, now it's nicer. Eh. Eh, we'll just say it's another liquor cabinet. What I'd like to do is actually put like another bar up here, but we're limited to one. Oh, we can put a nice side table up here. Oh, uh, it's kind of like a your dinner table. We could put more eating tables upstairs, but hmm. Also, we're going to limit that area. Off limits. There we go. Okay. Um, so I want a piano upstairs, downstairs, but I can only do one. Hmm. All right. Fine by me. I feel like we could put some more windows in. Place turned out pretty cool now. Can we put something on the fireplace? Oh, we can. The, the nicer one that we could build downstairs. Just a question, if you buy the other businesses in town, can you refurbish them like the saloon or can you get money from them? Um, if you buy them, I think you get money from them and also I think you can get a discount or whatever they offer for free. And I think they also, if they offer a passive income but I don't think you can like redesign them like the saloon. The saloon's like the biggest building in town. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Can I delete that window? Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, uh, ooh, oh. I, I'm gonna need that. What the hell? Um... That'll buff out. I'll just cover that with a... Okay, good, 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 okay. Saved it! Yay, it's saved, okay. <sighs> what? No, no. Let's cover it with a poster, yeah. Okay, we'll do this. Where should we put it? We'll put it right here. Honestly, I should be able to put a window back there then. I thought the window was blocking it. Yeah, I should be able to do a window right there. Hmm. Thank you. 
Okay. I guess I could put a window on this side. Okay, that's better. All right. First try. There we go, that's better. Make the kitchen. There we go. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, let's look at the upstairs. Uh, oh boy. Well, the chimney's poking through the bottom. That would actually be cool if it. Uh, we'll just pr wait. Does it actually come out of the top of the building? Oh, uh, that would be cool if it actually went through. Well, we'll just say that there's brick there. You know what I mean? As if the chimney continues up through the second floor. Yeah, okay. Well, we could put smaller fireplaces in these rooms. The comfortable fireplace is like tiny. Yeah, these rooms definitely need some decoration. Should I put the other chimney on? T oh, you mean this? Like, do this? I don't know if it'll let me actually build there. Let's try. That would be cool. It would take up more space. Hey, it works. Cool. Alright. That works. Put down some more rugs. Does it poke out the roof now? Oh yeah, it should. Now that's cool. If it actually worked and was like built into the game. Yeah, there was a circle rug that used to be in the game, but no longer. I don't know if we have to research it or what. Pretty sweet though. What we've built so far. I mean, this looks okay. I think the only thing missing is like some more decoration. more pictures here and there would be fine. Now you can't choose the uh, floor. Like it's just floor and that's it. Ah, oh, we can put a bear head over the bear den. Oh, I still can't put it over the fireplace. We can put a bear outside though. Cannot place an exterior wall. Scammed at every turn. Now, we can't make a balcony, but I wish we could. Alright, let's put some nice fancy stuff in here for the... Uh...
Maybe a mirror. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I tried to place the saloon sign outside. It wouldn't let me do that either. There's a lot of stuff that I think I can do and that I should be able to do, but it's like telling me no. Let's go to the first floor and try we'll try to put the slip it seems like some things we can do is just a little the tricky part is the placement I think it should be able to go right there oh yeah of course now now it'll do it I tried before but okay whatever whatever all right let's go back up to the second floor I think we're good to like re on pause now we'll add some more decorations later let's see how it functions And let's see if we can hire some new staff members. Okay, we can hire another bouncer. Probably a good idea. Security for the top floor. Uh, we need another coupier and two independent contractors. Complete with 1099. Hopefully people can find their way upstairs. Oh, the piano stopped playing. Oh, God. Never mind. Thoughts on the game so far? Great concept. Love the city building aspect to it where your decisions help to build a more reputable town that people will want to come and move into. It's cool how the things, the buildings that you would imagine being in a Wild West town, things like a grocer and a trapper and a blacksmith and a pig farm and all that stuff that you'd find in the Wild West are buildings that will move in. Cool that you can buy those buildings too. A little tricky on the building system. Seems to be a little, little buggy, a little you know, manageable to, you just got to sneak past it. You know, it's like the game tells you no, and then you try again, and then it's like, yes. <laughs> so you you try it a hundred times. Like, no, no, no. And then you do it another time. It's like, yes. But uh, that's like the biggest hang up so far, which at least is manageable. We were able to build the second floor. Now we have to see if they use it. But I like the game. Uh, you catch a pleasant scent from Myra Jones's bakery up the road. Smell that deliciousness. I don't think that's the bakery. That's the Wendy's. Another block past. New recipe can be researched. Let's do some more whiskey. We'll do the Medora. Then we gotta buy some guns, brother. Hopefully a blacksmith moves in, or a uh, firearms dealer. We can hire, yeah, um, well, let's see. I'm not sure exactly how often it changes. Oh, good, we can hire another coupier. This one's 90 out of 100. 
Can we hire another server? No, we can only have one. One cook, one barkeep. Like four bouncers. <laughs> Seems like this place doesn't make um, drinks, it makes trouble. Your pig lets out a squeal, catching eyes with you and longing. You rub its belly. Nice little piggly wiggly. Aw. No stress. Thanks, piggy. Let's see. <laughs> Anything we gotta buy? Buy some more rough crude liquor. Okay. Cool. Check upstairs? Yeah, let's see if business is going down upstairs. Oh, <laughs> you know, I forgot to put lighting upstairs, too. It's awfully dark up there. Definitely can say nobody's counting cards up there, because you can't even see. Is this game promising? Yeah, it's got a lot. It's got a great concept to it. I, I do like it. I think there's a little bit of clunk and funk, but I think after release... With a lot of feedback and a lot of love, this game can be yet another fun little... Uh... There's been some really great tavern builder games that we've played over the years. Uh, Traveler's Inn. Uh, is that one? Uh, Brew Brewmaster? I forget what it's called. Um... There's There's been a couple of great ones that are like uh, medieval and... But this one's a little bit more modern, you know? Aside from Bartender Hustle, I think this is like the newest one around. Income videos are on the channel, yep. Check the channel. And these rooms are very dimly lit and have some fireplaces, so that's fine. That, that makes sense. Place like a Dave and Buster's, Wendy's, Denny's, and uh, a little bit of an EA corporate headquarters with all the uh, gambling going on upstairs. I need hand sanitizer out the bedroom. Look, the safest thing to drink back in those days was still like whiskey. You catch eyes with Helga. And they lift their hands to wave. Nod to them. Failed. They didn't seem to laugh to themselves, turning Wait, what? Oh, she just thinks I'm cute, that's all. All you need now is the musical Paint Your Wagon. Was that a real thing or is that a Simpsons reference? I remember that episode. I think uh, Sam, what's his name? Pretty sure lends his voice to that episode. Over time, the stream becomes blurred. Sorry for caps. Well, I mean, that's on YouTube, really. Most problems that you guys have with the streams or the videos are all on YouTube. Like, they're the ones who control the quality. Unless my frame rate, or, or rather my connection to YouTube is interrupted, which right now it's all good. It's all on Susan. Oh, let's research Irish whiskey. Alright, any more staff?
Ah, there we are. Ella, welcome aboard as a small business owner. Not very skilled yet, but in time she will learn. Over time, YouTube decreases the quality, manually change it to 720. Yeah, it might be a tactic to get you guys to leave the stream so then you'll go watch YouTube shorts or something like that. It always sounds crazy when I say these things, but, you know, they'll do these things in order to maximize profits. I remember when YouTube was a nice website. Just a website where you could post videos. They're mad about TikTok, though. Mad. Clint Eastwood and Lee Marvin fell in love with the same woman in Paint Your Wagon. Really? Oh. What does the safe do? Uh, it reduces the amount of theft that can happen. I don't know if the effect stacks, though. It says by 50. I only built one because I just assumed. Yeah, let's build another one upstairs. I forgot to build that uh, crafting bench, too. I'll just build another one on the first floor. It also has to do with employee happiness, so you don't really have to worry about it if your employees are happy. Do you just manage the saloon? Well, you can build, too. You can manage both floors, and then you can also buy other businesses in town and kind of manage them. We'll see. I've been waiting to manage one of the buildings, but I don't know which one. I think I'm going to sell these two and just build the crafting bench up here. Clicked 45 times and it finally worked. I guess you just have to power click. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Mule Skinner. Let's go with that. Anybody getting down to business up here? Oh, 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 oh boy. Whoa, whoa. That was uh, almost, uh, almost got Susan there. That was close. Wow. The girl from Bioshock 3 really let herself go. What happens when they don't make uh, sequels, kids? Oof. And she's just thinking about that time. Pre-release of Bioshock 3. Everybody thought it was going to be a good game. It was a good game. She thought it was going to be great. She thought they would make a sequel of the sequel. Now she has to lay late at night. with other ladies. Nice. Nice. Why can't I remove the damn walls? Why do I have to, like, creep and be a heavy breather through the picture frame? Nice. An atheist couple are looking for someone to serve as justice of the peace and perform a non-religious marriage. Uh, litigiousness or theology? Uh, 
Okay, I'll try. You marry them and recite, I now pronounce you man and wife. Now what's your pleasure? But they scamper off without indulging your liquor supply. Okay, whatever. They sleeping or dead? Um. Well, what's interesting is in this game, getting down with it means that they sleep in bed, and then you'll just see money tick up over time. So, as for the brothel, that lady to just sleep in the same bed as the other lady has given us twenty three forty six. So really, it's almost as if they're like, like renting the hotel for the night. But could you imagine twenty dollars back in? Someone do the math real quick. How much would be like twenty five dollars be in today's money back in eighteen sixty one? Like twenty five dollars back in eighteen sixty one. What's that now? Three point six million. It's got to be. Look, we can actually have bodies here. We can also buy guns too. Oh, the, the demo was quite exciting. We had a lot of guns and a lot of shootouts too. This is definitely a game that's going to be a long-haul game, though, because, of course, we want to build the town, and that needs to take more than just, like, a year. $890? Yeah, could you imagine renting a hotel room for $890? Hundred dollars in 18... 86 is the equivalent of purchasing power of about 3,151. Increase of 3,000 over... Oh, you mean like if you put that into savings? Are you telling me if you put $100 into savings... You're, t you're talking about via like interest rates? Or what do they call that? Not interest, but... Um, well, yeah, but then of course the moment you spend a dollar. $3 million in taxes. Let's research hot toddy. That's what came up on Google. That could be, I mean. Wow, we have $2,000 again. Wow, we spent, <laughs> we spent like 600 bucks on the second floor expansion. And now have all that money back. Let's see if we can hire another staff member. Let's see. Barkeep, barkeep, cook. Ah, there we go. Tanya Johnson. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. She's getting down with it. Work it, girl. Damn, I'm gonna be DMCA now. I let the whole thing play. Damn it, Susan! And that would have. Note to self Three hours into the stream, mute for t 11 seconds. <laughs> Some of these rules are so dumb. Oh, Gregor says hello again. He's such a nice dude. The Trapper is such a nice guy. Alright, well now that we did all that building and the, uh, the bar is pretty good for now, so now let's let the story ride out a little bit and see what happens. Because now we just got to wait and see, um... Eventually there's going to be some rough riders coming into town and some shootouts and whatnot. Wait, you got to keep on researching. Gambling. Need more fame? Well, we're at 50% now for our town, at least. 
Oh, Town's opinion of character, yeah. Oh, fame is 15, yeah, yeah. Refinement is 257, entertainment is 300, service 262, drinks 126, food 173, muscle 86. Yeah, fame. How do we get more fame? We gotta do it by like, probably like completing random quests that come through. Brother, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. Brother, yeah. New recipe can be researched. All right. Do a Sean O'Farrell. So much to research. Can we make a third floor? No, it seems like we can only make two. But I would like to be able to make a cellar as well. Kind of put a storage room underground. Since the uh, storage is automatically linked, like nobody actually has to stock shelves or go to the shelves to like, stock the bar. Kind of cool to build down there. That'd be cute. Uh, we need to buy some more whiskey. Big farm. A derringer. Mm -mm -mm. I want something a little bigger than that, brother. Although I guess we could give it to our um, two bouncers for now. Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, it's got a little bit of that vibe to it, you know? Like the old west. Going on a couple quests. Hiding bodies, you know how it is. There's a little bit of, like, suspicion or whatever, too. Like, you can start getting into shady deals and eventually attract uh, the law. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, people are in here. This place opened 24-7. Wow. Let's see. Decor. Put up a skull. <laughs> I can't. I can't put it. I can't put it in. The walls will not accept. I, I can't drop it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I can put it there though. Come on, man. put it over there, whatever. I want to put something on this wall. Ah. Can't do anything fun at this saloon. May as well be called the Google Campus Trust and Safety Saloon. You see an altercation between two men. One a gold digger, the other a thief who apparently stole the digger's gold. The gold digger grabs the thief by the scruff saying, Are you ready to meet the Lord Pilgrim? Interfere by forcing them apart. Success! You force your arm between them, shove them apart, and with the amount of force you used, they know you mean business. You tell them, you can sell your business elsewhere, but not in my saloon. They lock eyes, take their altercation outside, you hear a sound of gunfire, and the gold digger returns, ordering a round of drinks. Some people praise you for settling the man's score. All right. Oh, I gained five on my fame. Yeah, cool. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Now that's true. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel to Red Dead Redemption 1. True. 
Did they fix the second floor lag? Um, I guess I got a little lag on the second floor, yeah. So no, but it wasn't too bad. So maybe? I'm not sure. I never got to building the second floor in my demo run, so that's a first look, exclusive, life-changing, promising gameplay, crying and shaking. Other shop owners come to the bar, but can you go to their place and talk to them? Now the saloon's kind of like the center of town. It's like the town square, really. Where business is made, business deals are agreed upon. You wonder if there'll be a Red Dead Redemption 3? Well, do companies like money? Can we see the casino? Honestly, I think it's a little disappointing. I'm only allowed to have <laughs> two things, but... It's cool. There's a couple people up here. You notice Sandmore. Stop at the entrance and consider entering. Um, why don't you come on over, pal? Success! You raise your arms. You won't regret joining in the revelry. At the twinkle in your eye, they're convinced and step in wholeheartedly. Good. New recipe. Let's finish off the desserts. Don't tell me when the dog goes through the front door, it opens the door. Oh my god, it does. I never mind. I thought it did. He's small enough, though. He can go under the door. Short stuff. Any more staff? What do we got? All we have to hire is one more bouncer, and we have a full staff. And we don't have any. Good book. Oh, these are coping mechanisms. Eating, alcohol, opiates, sex, tobacco, good book. Sneakiness. How would we get that trade up? Imagine being like a ninja a saloon owner in like 1861. Some of these, I, I don't even know if you could like max these out. Like some of these you might never encounter. Like thank goodness we didn't even go for like savior fare or like uh, seduction. Some of those haven't even popped up once. But I guess over many, many times it will. I mean, there's still a lot of businesses that can come to town. The sheriff, uh, blacksmith, gun dealer, whatever, manufacturer. This town is definitely big enough for the 
10 of us or however many people are here. You can max skills with Befriend and Seduce. Oh, really? If you seduce other people, you like Kirby their, their powers? Okay. Well, that's not how it works in real life, but alright. Bum, 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 bum. Eugene, thank you very much for the nine months as a raptor egg, dude. Welcome. Yeah, brother. Uh-oh. Pearl Parker is approaching up the road. Nod as you walk by. Success, you nod and they answer with a nod back. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make some purchases today. We gotta get some coffee. Cigars. We'll buy a gun. Couple guns. Can we hire another. No, we're out of action points. So we can't hire somebody until we get another action point. But we can give our people some guns. We'll just give some derringers. At least it's two. Better than zero. Yo, Ben! Welcome. Ben, thanks very much for the four months. Love you too. Thank you very much for the support. All the love to the chat. way more songs. for more of these quests to pop up. I wonder what we're going to do with all this money. What is the workbench doing? Well, the workbench is just a passive item that gives you 30% uh, less upkeep, so now our money's just going to skyrocket like crazy. I feel like for an item that, um, I feel like for an item being that powerful, it should definitely, like, be something you have to do something special to get. Oh boy, here's our friend again. Being nice to us. That guy's the nicest dude ever. Sponsor a cooking fair. Burner, burner. Oh, 
ask me. Where's the other lady? have the both let's see now the only person we can hire now is a bouncer all right martin as your board all right so now we just need like a armor or some somebody like to move into town Amen, brother, yeah, brother. Amen, yeah. <laughs> so what other, what other stuff can we get here? Tequila, rum, wine, beer, and gin. Bourbon, and then we've got whiskey and crude liquor. And then we've got cigars, coffee, uh, opium, dessert... Speaking of the devil, for better or worse, an opium den has arrived, providing the town with opium supply and a quiet place to recline, hold opium pipes over oil lamps, and inhale sweet poppy vapor. Many will succumb to the promise of opium's guaranteed recreational and pain-killing uh, properties. They also provide knives and loans. Do business at your own risk. Oh, they're built. Oh, great! They're going right across the street. Wonderful. Great. Well, we'll wait until that's done and constructed. Oh, yeah, brother. Okay. Well, let's buy some of that. And apparently we can buy knives. Ooh, saloon muscle bonus, plus 25. Take that. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, brother, yeah. Wow, we almost have $4,000. The main road has been obstructed a mile out of town by an uprising of angry miners. Uh, claiming that they're... Mine owners must pay them a measly scrip and force them into the confined spaces, many dying from collapsed tunnels and noxious gases. They make it clear they have no intention of freeing up the road anytime soon. I will slip them a 50. Let's see. Use your seductive talents. Attempt to frighten them off by <laughs> feigning a meltdown. We could shoot it out with them, but let's just slip them a 50. Ooh, and we got an opinion of the town plus two as well. Yeah, that was probably a better mood. That was a move. That was good. All right, let's research. Uh... Oh, yeah, we'll research the uh, final vanilla crumb pie. All right, chat. Well, you're in charge. Good luck.
bruh. Chad, you behave. I'll play an ad. Is that what you want? You behave right now, Chad, or I'll play an ad. <laughs> Alright, one's in the chat if you're well behaved and totally not memeing out at all. Not, not a single one, it's all just a wall of Bob Ross and Bre. Bre Ross. Oh no. All the goofy goobers. Dude, we got 2600 capacity? Damn. That journal could be better organized. That should be organized by like month and year. If you play this for a while, you could scroll for years. All right, waiting for more events to happen. What do we got for customers? Oh, are these current customers? Oh, we can have 56 people in the establishment? Wow. I don't think we can actually get that. Could you imagine 56 people being in here? I mean, there would have to be Everybody would have to be sitting down at every seat. Which would be weird, because I don't think everybody would know everybody. Yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. Brother, yeah, yeah. Brother, yeah, yeah. Brother, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Rasper Moore from the general store is playing host to a colorful celebration for the town. They're asking for all the businesses to chip in. Oh, I could do that for sure. Uh, bring delicious food, 31%. Yep. Uh, bring some jokes. Success! You stand in front of the crowd performing a series of card tricks and telling several jokes. Everyone claps and cheers. They don't stop talking about the hidden talents of the barkeep. Opinion plus five. Yeah. We got to get our fame up, though. But it'll get there. Brother, yeah. Talk to townspeople for fame. Can I actually reach out to them and talk to them? How do I? How would I like speak with them? Oh. Oh wait, this is just Rob Duel Investigate Sue. Oh, we can manipulate local businesses. Oh, there we go. Oh no, the frame. That's frame. Entice. We can romance people. Ah, oh, we can befriend. Requires maximum opinion, though. And won't let me do it, though? Hmm. Uh, is this a pre-made layout, or did you de uh, design it yourself? I did do this myself. There are two pre-mades, though. Mm 
Oh, you can only befriend if you have... Oh, I see. Offer them some money to like you. Your attempt has succeeded. Alright, well... Uh... Myra Jones really likes me. Ooh. Romance. Allow them to steal a peek at your toned body. Muscle 58, seduction plus 5, 63% chance to succeed. <sighs> okay. Attempt has succeeded. Nice. Wait. Oh. I thought she was, like, purchasing other businesses in the town. Hmm. Here's a 50. Now I'm just going to slip everybody in town a 50. Okay, well, you know. Keep grinding away. Get that reputation up. We're at uh, 59, so... Oh, everybody's talking so nicely about me now all of a sudden. Hmm. Interesting. They'll fight for me too? Cool. Can we give the locals town... Oh, the locals would be cool if there was like a way where we'd get attacked by bandits and the locals would like... We'd give them guns. They'd be like the town's bouncers. We could turn this whole town into one big saloon. A saloon to rule them all. Nice. Town opinion up to 61%. Good. Good. Brother, I like this music, it's chill, man. Good for nighttime. I'm not cheating at cards. I don't even own any Pokemon cards. Is that what they're playing upstairs? I would imagine. Maybe they're playing Magic the Gathering upstairs. <laughs> Nerds. Wow, we have $6,000 in the bank. Hire some better staff? I think our staff are getting skilled over time, aren't they? Yeah, she went from like 15 out of 100 to a 17. This one's 50. No, that's fine. Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, okay. We need another house.
622 hours to cool down. Certainly fun to design the bar all the time. I wonder what else we could put in here. I mean, at most, maybe another couple tables, but nah, we wouldn't be able to fill up the whole thing. Like, we could fill it floor space-wise, but I don't know if we're going to get enough people in here. We're getting a lot of people coming in, though. Ah, finally a blacksmith is coming in. That means we can get guns. Prepare for mornings and afternoons interrupted by the clanging of metal and hammers. But rest assured, the trade-off of having a local blacksmith will be tenfold. With their forge, bellows, and anvil, they're sure to provide nails, horseshoes, and firearms. All welcome additions to the town economy. I will check back in a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Rumors abound of a band of outlaws sweeping through the region, robbing and slaughtering as they go. There's a reward of a thousand for their leader's capture, an ex miner who goes by the name of Chop Wesley James. Let's hope they don't come here. There's danger on the horizon. Uh oh. Well, thank God that blacksmith just popped up. Ravenous? No. Gotta buy a gun, brother. Now we're rooting, tooting, and shooting. Gonna need some more guns, though. Amen. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this game will be out tomorrow. Well, less than a few hours, actually, according to Steam. Yeah, we did play the demo, yep. Cindy Mitchell. Wishes to build new walls inside her house, but expresses they need help. Oh, we can help. Uh, rally the laborers. Let's get them together, boys. Success. You bring people together to help in the building, and together you get it done in less than half the time.
How's the second floor doing? It's okay, I guess. All right, so, oh, we should, uh, oh, we are doing research. We're probably, uh, we're doing the end research on that uh, cake or whatever. Uh-oh. Gerald Mayer's to wealthy mining, uh-oh, I think this is the guy. Uh-oh. A wealthy uh, mining magnate has encroached upon the town looking to acquire several gold claims in the area. He enters your saloon with a crooked stride and spurs clinking with every step. He says to you, never mind what business I have with the town, we'll get along just fine. Clear he intends to influence the town as a whole to achieve his aims. Uh, tell this reprobate charlatan to get his affluent arse out of your saloon and march on out of town. Maris doesn't take kindly to your attitude and takes several pronounced steps towards you. I see we got a troublemaker here. Well, we'll see how you deal with things when it turns hot. He turns to leave, spurs clinking the whole way. A ruckus in the street as several townspeople are firing their guns towards uh, Gerald and a team of dangerous men atop horses. Step outside to hear that Gerald has been trying to strong arm several people to relinquish their gold claims, resorting to intimidation and threats of violence. Stand up to him on behalf of the town. Success! You step towards the street. And in front of the entire assembly, Mirst turns to you as you say, Mirst, quite enough. Carry on now. At your insistence, the strength in your gait, he seems to cower back a bit. Fame plus five, town plus five. Matthew, thanks for the two. Rootin' tootin', hollerin' hootin', cowboy shootin'. Amen, brother. He pulls out a shotgun that was tucked into his saddle pouch and aims at you. Feeling so honory now, pilgrim? With nothing but your iron will... Uh, you scare him into submission with your golden-eyed stare. Leadership plus 77. Oh, baby. Let's do it. Success! You stand your ground and even take steps towards this mongrel. Even his horse stirs on its feet. Time to go, Mr. Marst, you say, with a gravelly undertone in your voice. Long moments go by, playing out the deafening silence. All eyes are on the two of you. At last, Mears lowers his rifle, it was actually a shotgun, and turns to his men. Let's go, boys. We ain't getting nowhere around here. He begins riding to the edge of town when he turns and shouts, You're awfully lucky you got a barkeep with the devil in him. With that, he rides off, never to be seen in these parts again. Fame plus 20, opinion plus 20. Yeah! Sweet, now our fame went from like 15 to 45. Sweet. That was awesome. We're so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, badass indeed. I wonder if actually fame, does it say what it does? It'd be cool if fame like attracted more beneficial businesses, although they're all important. They all at least generate some form of wealth. What are we doing on money? Wow, gambling has almost made us $10,000. Nothing else has even come close. Wait. Oh, these are costs. Nothing's even close. Coffee's made us $66. Cigars, $99. Food, $361. And alcohol at $490. 
Nothing's even close to gambling. Oh, we should buy another uh, gun. Oh, we can only buy one. You hear a commotion and see a traveler rushing out the front uh, door of a general store, arms filled with stolen merchandise. You hear Rasper Moore shout, Someone stop him! Shout and rally the others to stop him. Success! All at once, several townspeople swarm the thief and recover the merchandise. The general store owner is grateful for your help. Plus five. Good. Bum, 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 bum. We need a better nug chef. Yeah. we can put into our like saloon at the moment in order to like build it out we I mean we can add more stuff to it but it's not going to do anything like we could add a bunch of chairs to the top floor but you know yeah we can automatically resupply yeah uh the reason i'm buying it manually though is because i do want to not like i I'm not sure when it'll auto resupply, so I don't want to fill up too much on our capacity. We do have quite a bit of capacity, but since we're getting more items, I don't want it to like, like, does it resupply at zero and buy 200 or does it resupply at like 199? Like, I'm not exactly sure how it works. So I've just been doing it manually, which does use an action point, but it's not too big of a deal at the moment because I'm not really like using the town to, uh, you know, like manipulate them or whatever. Uh, a mountaineer dressed in deer hide stops in saying he's been he's here because nobody knows of it just the way I like it he says uh, tell him you find that offensive and that your saloon will one day be the most famous in all the land success you announce with your arms wide this here saloon will be a stopping point for anybody wishing to manifest their destiny he seems to be ignited by your exuberance and looks differently at your saloon. Now that you mention it, if there ever was to be a great rendezvous uh, out this direction, this could be it. He promises to tell your saloon of your saloon to anyone that crosses his path. Hey, fame plus two. Nice. Nice. Game's sitting at 47 now, awesome. Finally, we finished the research on that end game uh, dessert. Now let's do. Uh, let's see. Now let's do some more light meals. Hot and spicy chicken, or or Wendy's. Now we're making that hot and spicy chicken sandwich. 
The pigs at the pig farm are beginning to die by the day with no signs of violence. April Moore asks if anyone in the town can inspect for the reason why. Oh. Um. All right, let's do medicine. Fail. Oh. Well, I tried. Mission failed. Bum, bum. When are you going to gather the nerd squad? I miss the boys playing SC. Are there really that many bugs? Oh, Star Citizen? Yeah. Um, Star Citizen was fun for a long time. And then um, it was like really cool. And then got kind of cooler. And then had an update and was still cool. And then there was another update. And then it got less cool and less cool and less cool. And there, like there was no update. Then they made another update and then it just got worse. I'm like, well, I'm out because... Literally, everything's just blowing up. Like, you can't do anything without things exploding and going back to the start. So it's like, I need a break from that game. Good game, but, you know. You know? You know what I mean? All yeah, right. full on everybody anyway. Oh nice. We just bought a bunch of bunch of guns, brother. Okay, let's get our Everybody's three now except for one. We gotta buy one more gun, I think. No, we should have enough guns, right? Wait a minute. Thank you, Levi, for another two. I thought I bought four guns. Oh, I did. Yeah, everybody's at three now. Cool. Alright, so every one of our bouncers is now carrying around a Colt, so that's pretty sweet. I think we can actually, um... I think we can actually uh, get a horse in the game because the blacksmith sells horseshoes. Oh yeah, our character can have a gun too. I guess I'll just carry a Derringer. Yeah, we'll carry a Derringer. You know what's weird is that when like a bar fight breaks out too, it defaults to your um, your bouncer's skill, but not yours. Like in terms of being firepower. Scalloped corn. No. Let's do more light meals. Let's do bacon, brother. Yeah. That's combat in this game. We already stared down somebody with a shotgun. I got the hell out of town, though. Bum, bum. Some bar stools would be nice. You know, actually, we could try that, although it might block the bar. We might not be able to do that. Also, the bar stools are kind of short for the... Bar, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, it won't let us put it in front of the bar. Darn. Yeah, that could be at least two, maybe three seats right there. Brother, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so, oh, where's our other bouncers, by the way? There's, like, two in front of the door. Oh, there's two on the inside as well. Place packed with security. No one's getting out of here without a little trouble. Oh, new recipe. Let's do... Let's do some more light, light meals. Um... Oh my god, chicken pot pie, hail to the yeah. Woo! That's gonna be good. Brother, yeah. Oh, look at that money we're pulling in, too. Almost, almost to $10,000. We're at 7300 Wow, over 10,000 from gambling. Only 100 from the brothel? <laughs> yeah, what kind of a saloon doesn't have bar stools? Yeah, exactly. I kind of found it funny when, like, there wasn't uh, a way to pull up to the bar. Kind of weird because the bartender and the server will go to the customers as they sit at the table, so it's like. You know what's better than a Raptor stream? Pushing like, subscribing, and setting notifications to all so you never miss a Raptor stream. Also, nachos, you love nachos? Well, thank you, Gallon. Well, good luck to the last few people smashing the like button before we hit the next hundo. Appreciate all the support. It helps Susan's algorithm to promote the channel so we can find. New people to hang out with in the streams, and new games to play. More people will find these games, and more people will buy them because they're interested in them, and then the developers get more money to make better games and improve the ones that they're already working on. Which is pretty cute. Like chat. Chat, you're pretty cool too. Uh-oh. Wait, this isn't cool. We got trouble. Uh, there you're minding your own business when suddenly you notice... That a bear has made its way through the door. Sticking it... Chad, who the hell told the developer to add this garbage? Bear has made its way through the door. Sticking its snout in to smell for food in the kitchen. Shout at it. Fire a hole in your ceiling to scare it away. Ty goes to player. Shoot directly, edit. I'm not gonna, I'm way past yelling at bears. I'm gonna fire a hole in the ceiling. Under. Damn right. Damn bear. Buy it a drink? How dare you try to sympathize with the bears, chat? Now I know who you're working for. All I had to do was fire a derringer and kill somebody upstairs. That was Reminder, fine. Reminder, this is a bear-free environment. Damn right. Heavy winds produce a damaging path for hundreds of miles, leaving trees uprooted along the main road. Oh. Well, that's going to be hard for us to get shipments that way. Let's repair the road. You attempt to repair the road. Repair the road by blood, sweat, and tears, laboring hard against the elements. Took a feast for those willing to help repair. Pay the... Pay for the repair of the road, 50 bucks. There we go. Th throw money. Money at a tree. Hey, imagine me just going and throwing quarters at trees and them just moving out of the way. I shot my lady of the night. Yeah. Uh, now, she was probably like doing this to uh, dodge the bullets. Also, I, there should be two of these ladies, but I only see one. Like, this other bed's been abandoned the whole time. We have two out of two. Where's the other lady? Uh, is there a way to, like, follow them? Find out where they are? Mm 
I thought there was a way where you could see... Where they were. Oh, well. Oh, well. Maybe it's her off night. Or... She got shot in the leg and had to go to the hospital. You know how it is. Brother Ye. Uh oh, what's this? I don't think the gods are on either of our sides. No, I, I dealt with the bear. I prayed to two gods, Smith and Wesson. Amen, bro. Well, I guess in this case, Derringer. The general store received a big O shipment. Rasper Moore asked if you could help unload the wagon. Uh, sure, let's get everybody together and offload that wagon, brother. Success! You don't do the unloading yourself, small business owner. But, folks, you managed to uh, gather, do a fine job. The general store is very grateful. Awesome. Very nice. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. 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 Bum, 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 bum. Cows are coming home again. What are we low on? I'm sure we're pretty good on everything. Good times. Well, certainly a great start for the saloon. That's for damn sure. Wow, we're only like a month in. This game is beefy, man. There's been a f the the town is starting to grow. We got a train that needs to come in at some point. The sheriff is going to come in at po some point. We got we got a lot going down for sure. Absolutely. All right, anything else we can top off on? Heavy, is that heavy meat? Heavy meat. And whiskey over there, which I got. Pig farm? No. I like how the butcher is directly next to the pig farm. Really, really sends a message. All right, folks, that is our time today for Deadwater Saloon out in less than a couple of hours. You can check it out on Steam. And or there's a free demo, too, where apparently it looks like if you play the demo and then get the, the game, it'll actually go... You can play the demo, and if you're interested, it'll, like, pick up right into the full game, which is kind of cool. So if you try the demo for, like, a couple of weeks and like it, then you can continue on. So uh, there's much more to be seen in this game. You may have actually seen our previous playthroughs and videos on it, so check those out if you'd like to see some of the other playthroughs where a gang comes to town and we get into some other gunfights and buy some more weapons and get shotguns, too. Every town's a little different, but always fun, very much the same. Thank you very much, everybody, for all your support. Thanks for being awesome. Smash that like button on the way out. Make sure you're jumping on the Discord for our giveaways and more. One like equals one luck. Subscribe for free. And I'll see you tomorrow morning for some more Big O Games. Deadwater Saloon will come back for it sometime soon. So make sure you all subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye, buddy. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Brother, yeah. Where's my cowboys at? Let's ride out. Let's ride out of this town, this one horse town.